Let's solve the Advent of Code 2021 Day 20 puzzle using Ivy. This puzzle is a game of life-esque simulation on an infinite grid. We have a 512-bit binary map telling us the next pixel value for a given pixel based on the nine pixel values in the 3x3 grid centered on that pixel. So at each step, for each pixel, we pick up the nine surrounding values, including itself, and use, those, use that as a 9-bit value to make an index to look up in the map. Now the fact that the grid is infinite is a bit of a gimmick because the infinite part always has the same value. It's all zeros at the start, and then it will move on to being all zeros or all ones, depending on the map entry at the index for all zeros or all ones. In the sample function, nine zeros maps here to zero, and so the infinity is just going to stay zero throughout. In the input function, nine zeros maps to a one, and then nine ones maps to a zero, and so it's going to toggle back and forth at each step. Either way, as long as we pad the grid with enough empty space that the real data, the actual pattern, can't reach the edges, that will be good enough to simulate the infinite grid. So I have the sample loaded. So let's work on padding the grid. We can pad one side, which is saying dot comma b comma dot, and then we can pad the other sides. That was the top and bottom, and we can pad the left and right by doing the same thing in the transpose. So transpose dot comma transpose dot comma b comma dot comma dot. There we go. That's one round of dots all the way around. So let's write a function for adding n padding. And let's call the function aleph in reference to the tower of infinities, aleph 0, aleph 1, and so on. And we'll say n aleph b if n is 0 is just the board b. And otherwise, we're going to add n minus 1 aleph of one round of padding. So n aleph b is going to add n rows and columns all the way around of padding around the board. So 5 aleph b is this board, which is good. And if we do, we have to do two steps to begin with. And so if we do two steps on this board, at most you can have a, a, the actual pattern move out one notch, one uh, step, one column or row. And so you can't get to the edge of the board here. So five is plenty. And so now we just need to actually run the game on this board and, and we'll get our answer. And we're supposed to be counting the number of pixels that are lit after two steps. So let's figure out how to do one step. Um, we need to add up, we need to construct the indexes for each of the, the actual cells. So for this cell, we need to have this dot, this value, and this value, and this value, and then also this row and this row, and put that 9-bit value together. Let's start by making just the 3-bit values. So if we have this, we're going to want this bit, and this bit, and this bit. Let's just work on those three. And to do that, we can say, we'll say n sigma b is going to be a base, base n sum over the board b. We say 1 rot b, that's this value. Actually, no, it's, it's this value. Plus n times this value, b, plus n times this value, which is minus 1 rot b. And because everything is right associative here, this n times applies to b, and then it also applies here, so you get n squared, which is exactly what we want for that bit. And so now if we say 2 sigma b, 2 sigma b equals a hash mark. There we go. We didn't save our, our grid. Let's do that. There we go. Now we have the right values. And you'll notice that if we hadn't had the padding, then we would have gotten very different values. We missed the edges and some of the other pieces were wrong. But with the padding, everything is, is actually correct. And so this is the result of just doing three-bit numbers to the left and right. And then we can interpret those as octal numbers up and down if we just do the same thing on the transpose. So we can transpose of octal sum, of transpose of binary sum of b equals that. And so that gives us the numbers that we need to actually use to index into the map. So let's just save that expression. The sum for the board is this. And then um, now we just need to index into that. So we'll say f is the sample function. Then if we just do f1 plus, um, let's see, does that work? Yes. 1 plus that. That is, in fact, the first step, which is that picture which is great. So let's save that. We'll say delta of b equals f of 1 plus the sum of b. 
So delta V should be that same picture, good. And then we're supposed to do two steps, which is supposed to produce that picture. So let's see, delta, delta B. That's correct, perfect. So now the question is how many lit up squares are there? That's easy enough, 35. All right, so let's try the input. Plus of plus of delta, delta, and we need some padding. Five padding is fine. 5,065, let's see. That's right. All right, so next the puzzle asks how many are lit after 50 steps? 50 steps, a little bit more, but we can just write a loop. And delta B is n equals zero is B. Otherwise, n minus one, step, step B. All right, let's go back to the sample function. Plus, plus two, delta five. Let's see if that still works. So we want sample this time. Okay, that 35 is correct. So now let's do the longer one. 50 delta 5, 105. That's not right. Uh, oh, we forgot to pad it. We need to pad it. We need to pad it with more than five. Let's do 60. 3351, now that, that is correct. All right, let's do the input. We should be able to do the same thing with the input. That's taking a second. There we go. One, four, seven, nine, zero. Submit. And we got our stars. Have a nice day.